Just found out that the classified cutscene was discovered by using glitches. I understand that the game is broken and to get to round 150 legitly is slim to none at the minute with the game crashes. However, Triac obviously put this in one of their maps to give something to the high round community. The high round community normally gets swept under the rug when it comes to being acknowledged. They finally put something in the game which should only be discovered by the high round community for them to share with the rest of the community once they find the 150 cutscene and they will be praised just that tad bit more from the rest of the community that only do easter eggs challenges or just play for fun. They feel more wanted by Treyarch because they were actually given something as well as the round 50 Zetsubo no Shima easter egg. But instead, the cutscene that was meant to be discovered by a well deserving high rounder was instead presented to us via a game that was glitched. They claimed worlds first and then plastered watermarks as always over the cutscene and they put it in cartoon mode so that no one else can upload this cutscene without A. The first few getting credit for it though they glitched or B getting to round 150 yourself without cartoon mode so it actually looks good. I'm not trying to hate on the three tubers who finally gave us what we wanted to see. The game is broken and thus we'll be waiting for X amount of time until Treyarch fixes the game before someone legitly finds the cutscene. I'm just disappointed that something that was meant to be discovered and shared by an unsuspecting member of the high round community was instead taken away from them because there were people who just wanted to glitch the game after finding out what to do in the game files so that they can get world's first first for views, subs and monetary gain. Kudos to Triac for trying to give us something not just for the easter egg community but also for the high rank community and hope that they carry on doing this type of thing. I just hope that in the future this doesn't get spoiled again. So that was something I wrote on Twitter yesterday as soon as I found out about the whole controversy around the classified round 150 easter egg like cutscene, whatever you want to call it, being discovered by three YouTubers who I'm not going to name, I'm not going to give them credit because I really feel like they don't deserve credit because they glitched the game after finding out what to do in the game files. They glitched the game so that they can get this cutscene, from my point of view, only to get more subs, more views, and potential monetary gain, like I said in my statement. I understand that they still put in a lot of work and they apparently was up for like 48 hours straight trying to get to this cutscene by glitching. I still believe that in my point of view, they don't deserve any sort of recognition because this was meant to be found by someone else. This was meant to be found by somebody who was legitimately going to be doing a high round one day on classified. They get to around 150 and then all of a sudden cutscene, they get, they get shocked and then they hopefully will be recording it to then share it to the rest of the community. It was meant to give a bit of limelight to the high round community, but instead, no, these guys went ahead find what you had to do in the game files and then went ahead and just used the glitch to get to that point. Like I said in my tweets, I'm not trying to give hate to these people. I honestly don't hate them. I know them as YouTubers and I still watch them. This is in no means for me trying to hate them and if you know who I'm talking about then I'm not trying to say to go over and hate them yourselves either. This isn't the point of this video and this isn't the point of me tweeting out like most people would be tweeting out yesterday. They'll probably be trying to spread hate. I'm not wanting to do that because I think the Zombies community is a great community. But I was however disappointed with the fact that they just had to go ahead and ruin this little thing that was meant to be for a high rank community member. And I'm not even a high rank community member myself. I'm more part of the easter egg side and the storyline side and the gameplay side. But I do understand that on the high rank community side, there are quite a few people who just play the game and they, they are really good at the game. They're some of the best players we have in this community. And I can't really name many of them that, like, you know, are fairly big on YouTube. Like, the Relaxing End, I guess, he's, like, got over a million subs. And then you've got, like, II Steve. And you've got, like, a few others as well who are, like, really good. But there's quite a few of them that I know that I'm sub to and that I watch who, like, have less than 100,000 subs. There's a lot of them who, like most games, will get to round 100 plus, whether it's Black Ops 3, 2, 1, Black Ops 4, whichever Zombies game that they're playing, like, they, they can get to a really high round, which is something that takes a lot of dedication in terms of being a Zombies player. So I feel just from that point of view, they honestly don't get the recognition from the fan base that they, in my opinion, do deserve. And from Treyarch as well, for forever, they've been sort of swept to the side, like I said in my tweets, swept under the rug because... Treyarch has only put in the round 50 Zetsubo no Shima easter egg, which is a beast in the distance, which was so stupid in terms of like, if they were trying to give it to the high rank community, 
that's not really giving anything to them other than like a really, really small, hard to see, almost very subtle Easter egg. I'm not sure who discovered that Easter egg, but I'm pretty sure it was probably some big YouTuber who just happened to either look in the game files who got, or who got lucky. But I don't remember ever there being any praise towards the high round community and this was probably their one chance and I'm hoping in the future they get more chances but at the moment this is their one chance to actually have a member from the high round community to go guys look I found the cutscene you just have to get to around 150 and instead that was just destroyed by glitching. Now I don't want to go too much on about the fact that they were glitching even though that's probably to me one of the most annoying bits because they wouldn't have got to around 150 otherwise. I can understand why they do it and I want to try and be as unbiased as possible but I'm just so disappointed in the fact that these guys don't deserve this recognition because like I said they looked in the game files found out what to do and then just glitched the game. I understand why they did it because the game is broken that's part of the issue if the game wasn't broken this would have been found by now and it would have been found by someone who actually deserved to find it but instead people in the community have been going crazy because they're losing out on sleep trying to find steps for the easter egg and though they glitched this and though I'm disappointed with this whole situation it's actually given a little bit of breath and a bit of like relief for those people who are constantly grinding every single day trying to hunt for that easter egg. I know quite a few YouTubers from like really big YouTubers to really small YouTubers who were daily grinding this out making sure that they were trying their best to find these easter egg steps for classified because previously obviously easter eggs or at least the main easter egg would be step one, step two, step eight and then and the easter egg but instead this easter egg just literally requires you to get to a certain round which i guess most people unless they looked in the game files wouldn't have thought about that because it's just sort of, apart from Zetsumo no Shima, this is something we've never really had before so if black ops 4 wasn't so broken then this wouldn't be an issue and since this has been found so many people i've seen in streams and just like on twitter tweeting out and stuff in frustration so many people have been trying to get to around 150 to get this cutscene outside a cartoon mode just so that they can upload it to their channel without having to have all these stupid watermarks over the cutscene which I honestly don't get why YouTubers do that either because it's not their gameplay it's the tracks like intellectual property but still they put their watermarks all over it and then that means that other YouTubers have to go ahead and get to around 150 themselves to try and get it without watermarks and to try and get it outside a cartoon mode. Now I believe they put it in cartoon mode because for some reason I think the game is less likely to crash when it's in cartoon mode. But they could have quickly put it outside of cartoon mode when the cutscene was coming on potentially. I don't think they were expecting it to come at 150. I think they thought they had to get to round 255 which would have been a really insane round to get to if that was the case. But still, maybe they could have just quickly pressed pause and took it out of cartoon mode. But I guess maybe after being up for 48 hours... They were like really shocked to actually see finally the cutscene that we've been searching for for 26 days at this point that the game's been out. So for 26 days this cutscene has been unseen. So like I was saying I've seen so many YouTubers going for this round 150 and they their game would crash at like round 67 like it did with Milo the other day. Or round 134 like it just did with Greg FPS like 10 minutes ago as I'm recording this video. Or whatever other round, people aren't quite getting to round 150, they're getting close, some of them are getting close, but some of them are getting to like round 80, and the game will be crashing. And this is 26 days after the game has already been released, and it's still getting blue screen crashes. I don't know if they're getting crashes on Xbox or PC, most probably not, it's probably just a PlayStation issue, maybe, I don't know, I don't really play this game on anything but PS4 at the moment. But the amount of people's games I've seen crash because this game just cannot support it, it's, it's a bit crazy really. Treyarch need to fix this game because at the moment I don't think anyone can get to round 150 without having to glitch. So in that way I don't blame these guys for doing what they did. But in another way I just can't feel any sympathy for them for the amount of hate they've been getting or anything. And I don't wish that sort of thing on them by any means. I, I don't wish the fact that they're getting hate. Like if they're getting no hate and whatever it doesn't really bother me. The fact that people are annoyed at them and pissed off at the fact that they did this I, I can't feel sympathy because they took away something from a really small portion of this community which they might not have another chance of getting like that bit of limelight that they otherwise would have but like I said in their defense we would probably still be waiting for another month two months four months however long it's going to take until track actually decide to fix this game so I don't really know where I stand in it myself a hundred percent 
I'm annoyed. I'm disappointed. Like, I feel like somebody else deserved to get this. Like I said, the people who did this, or at least one of the people who did this, is a very big clickbaiter. And he obviously did this for his own views and his own subs, and he did this for an egotistical reason. And he most probably didn't even do it as such for the community as much as he did it for himself. Now, I could be wrong in saying that. Obviously, I don't know the guy. I don't know any of the guys who found this easter egg, I could be wrong by saying that, but that's just what it feels like from my point of view. And like I say, I'm trying to stay as unbiased as possible in this whole situation, but it's annoying. Like, I've got to admit, it's quite annoying. However, saying all that, it's now been done. What can you do apart from complain, I guess, or just move on, so let's just all move on from the situation. The two things really that I've just pointed out in this video is that I just hope in the future, if like a certain part of the community gets their chance to have their little bit of fun with their easter egg like whether they realize they're going to get it or not i just hope that that part of the community gets what they deserve in terms of i hope that they get what track intended for them to get and i really hope that coming with the dlc season and whatnot of all these updates and apparently black ops 4 having like so many updates and more content than any other black ops game that we've ever had i hope that the damn consoles can support all this new content i hope the track actually fixes the game and they fix the blue screen issues because like it's the whole reason I'm not going for Easter eggs at the moment because I'm like I, I, I just don't see the point in going for Easter eggs and in the game crashing halfway through because Easter eggs don't look that easy. Especially like the Blood of the Dead Easter egg, it looks pretty difficult. I'm just not prepared to go into a game, get set up and everything, go all the way to the end of the Easter egg for it to then just crash on me like that. It shouldn't happen. This game is unstable at the, this point. So I'm not bothering with going for Easter eggs or uh, particularly high rounds or anything until this game is fixed. And I hope coming from like DLC 1 and the rest of the DLC season that this game is a lot better and it supports like for a lot more people. I hope there's less crashes and I don't know. I just hope in general it's a better playing experience because right now I feel like a lot of people in the community are just like getting sick and tired of the same BS that's within these games, you know, the blue screens, etc, etc. So I didn't really want it to be a rant, but I guess maybe it is a bit of a rant, but like it had to be said and I'm back by the way, I guess. Like I had an infection in my wisdom tooth that's basically gone, I think. I still need to see the dentist about that, but I think it's basically gone. Um, I'm almost off my antibiotics, so that's all good. Um, I just wanted to make this video because basically the whole controversy around classified, like the ending cutscene, I feel like a lot of people are being really irrational about it and they're just being really one-sided and unbiased about the whole thing and going, you cheated, you glitched, you don't deserve to be in this community, I don't like you, I'm going to unsub, whatever else they've been saying, like people have been saying some horrible stuff to them and like I... Even though I've been saying uh, like similar things in this video, I've not been unreasonable about what I've said and I've not been like irrational. I've tried to stay as rational as I could by just pointing out the facts. They glitched, but they did it for a reason. They didn't just do it for no reason, even though in my opinion, the reasons are e egotistical for the most part. But they also wanted to show the community you know, the the actual cutscene. I wanted to finally give us something that we've all been looking for. So like I say, I'm just trying to point out a situation, giving my two cents on it. I'm just going to move on from this situation. I know the zombies community is a little bit toxic right now. People are pissed off, whatever. They'll move on. A couple of days from now, like, people will forget about it. And the guys who I'm not giving mention to, because I just don't feel like they, des they deserve any sort of recognition, their hate will stop and they'll eventually come down. Actually, I think it's only the one guy who's receiving most of the hate, who's like the bigger YouTuber out of the three. But the hate will stop going towards them eventually and it'll get back to normal. And he'll be looked up as a good YouTuber, a source of leaks and whatnot yet again. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, I guess, even though, like I say, it's just me basically ranting about it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here for more Zombies content. Like the video if you liked it and go ahead to my Twitter channel and follow me on Twitter if you want. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch all of you in the next one. Peace out. If you will